Last but not least, I'm wrapping up this mobile open source operating system battle with Sailfish. They claim to be the people's OS, paying no mind to the Android iOS duopoly going on, and they promise to give control back to the community. Sounds too good to be true. Is something fishy going on here? Let's investigate in 3, 2, 1. Brought to you by lynda.com. What's up, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. So it's been fun, guys, but this is gonna be my last review of mobile open source OSs. So far, the lineup has been Tizen, Firefox OS, and Ubuntu Touch. If you haven't seen all those videos yet, you really should, because my next one's going to be my last comparison, final thoughts, basically just an epic brain dump about who I thought won the battle type. Thing. But for now, let's concentrate on Sailfish and why should I care about it? Yolo Mobile had a vision of using Mare with phones. It's an Ubuntu-based software distro. Mare is a fork of a dead and once heavily advocated OS. Perhaps you remember it. I'll give you a hint. Flashing back to my video on Tizen, Impressively enough, this concept has been brewing in the brains of Canonical, Fedora, Debian. That concept was originally called Mego, and the large open source family contributed to its growth. Those are really big players, and a lot of you followed the progress of Mego's development, so you were understandably really peeved off when Nokia decided to pull it. You even wrote to me with comments harboring general disgust for Mego having been canned after being so long in the making. While the Finns over at Yola heard and agree with us and give us Sailfish in return, it's a revival of Mego with Mare as the core. It supports ARM and x86 devices as we tend to see with any good Linux-based OS. Qt, QML, HTML5, and real Linux sounds real good, but I think one of the encouraging aspects of this whole OS is the philosophy behind it, merit over monetary gain. The Mare project is non-profit and is doing really exciting things, like being developed with transparency and device manufacturers in mind. But enough of this abstract, how is the look and feel? Using Sailfish OS In my previous reviews, I've been ranting about how Android-esque all these alt OSs are. Sailfish is in a league of its own in this regard. Yes, there's a gesture-based interface, which you can see here by pulling down a menu, but there are options to change profiles, sound settings, and get full screen notifications all within that pull-down, with haptic feedback to boot. This means that apps can run in full screen, and you can still make changes in your phone using that pull-down menu. Me likey. Speaking of applications, Yola has designed some serious integration into the home screen with the ability to manipulate programs outside of the app. Using these active covers, you never have to leave your phone's main screen to check things like music, email, contacts, and what have you. In the same vein, swipe from the edge of the screen and bam, there are all your Facebook notifications, Twitter, and other social networks, along with missed calls and emails. Keeping with this free-flowing idea, you can favorite settings for quick access so you don't have to navigate through tons of nested menus just to find airplane mode. I like this because Sailfish has by default something you'd need a widget for in Android. I'm mentioning a lot of tasks here, and you may see that minimize apps show up as covers on the home screen. It's so refreshing to know that Sailfish OS does true multitasking instead of the appearance as such, and that really speeds up your experience. With Sailfish, personalizing your phone is not as basic as changing your wallpaper. The ambiance feature will take the common colors of the image you choose and change the UI to match those colors. It's pretty cool. And as the icing on the proverbial cake of awesome, Sailfish can run without a hitch on low-powered, single-core phones, and even better, with higher-performance devices. An added bonus is that we can expect to see Yola-branded handsets roll out around Christmas of this year. The future looks bright for Yola. They seem to know exactly what to keep and what to scrap from Android's hovering influence, and Sailfish is shaping up to be a super polished, super intuitive way to use our phones. Since the operating system is so open, it doesn't have to stop there. We could be seeing Sailfish on our desktops, cars, tablets, smart TVs, just there's tons of possibilities for consumer electronics, for which I say yes please. The Sailfish SDK was made recently available for Linux, Mac, and Windows, so get developing. Because Yola is basically about creating a mobile ecosystem where the most versatile, most capable fish wins. Sailfish. I get it. Oh, and I wanted to take the time to give a big thank you to all of you who recommended me do a video on Sailfish OS. It may be my favorite one yet. 
So knowing now what you know about the alternative mobile open source market, which one do you want to try out most and why? Write it out in a comment below and if I pick yours, I will definitely put it in my final comparison video of all the contenders. So thanks for watching OSL. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. And I guess I'm done because my light is kind of flickering on and off there. Yeah. See you next week. I'm so proud when I teach myself things. HTML, networking, building computers, even a little bit of Java. But the bummer thing is that when you learn something in the tech industry, you become outdated in a month if you're lucky. Lynda.com feels my pain. It's an online learning company updated every week with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach a bunch of geek and nerd skills so you can be on top of it and stay current. And if you're a member of Lynda, you get unlimited 24-hour access to video courses taught by expert instructors with real-world experience. It's kind of like what I do with you guys, but Lynda.com is a veteran. Their site has been around since before YouTube. Become a master in the programming, business, photo, audio, and video, or web design field. Even learn how to rock it open source style. And now you can try lynda.com completely free for 7 days by visiting lynda.com slash osalt. <laughs>